When a small asteroid broke up over Siberia in 2013, the ensuing shockwave injured over a thousand people and caused extensive damage. It was a reminder to space agencies across the world of the dangers asteroids can pose. The asteroid now heading our way has been classified as a potentially hazardous object, but scientists say 1998 OR2 is not a threat. It's travelling at 30,000 kilometres an hour and is at least two kilometres wide, but will pass by at a distance of six million kilometres. We don't have to deal with it with fear, we have to deal with it with the science. So people should not be afraid of asteroids, people should be are encouraged to assess the risk of these asteroids and to follow these asteroid uh, uh, research programme and most importantly to maintain these asteroid research programme in place. Programs like NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART program, aim to tackle potential threats in the future. It's one of many programs around the world that not only track large asteroids, but have potential solutions to redirect them. The Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico is one of the facilities that tracks asteroids using sophisticated radar. Scientists here are already tracking the Apophis asteroid due to skirt the Earth in 2029. The head of planetary radar says their research is vital. Without the planetary radar observations or, or very extensive optical observations, we would actually have to get prepared that it, it could hit the Earth in 2029. So now we know that we don't have to do that and we can use those resources for, for something else. This latest asteroid has been tracked for the past two decades. And for amateur and professional astronomers alike, it's being greeted with excitement and not fear. NASA scientists say they've tracked more than 90% of near-Earth objects that pose a global threat. Thankfully, 1998 OR2 isn't one of them, but it will be close enough to watch on a telescope like this. In terms of the visual universe, this is a close shave, but a celestial event that will be seen as a slow-moving star. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.